trying to get the dream wedding and having it there ripped away from us, it's like having my heart ripped out and stomped on. Brides devastated tonight as they learn their dream wedding is no longer a reality. Good evening. Thanks for joining us for Fox 16 is at 530. I'm Donna Terrell. I'm Kevin Kelly. Noah's event venue is closing its doors for good. The company has dozens of locations across the county, including one here in West Little Rock. Our Susan O'Corey went there today. Susan, what did you find out? Well, Donna, Kevin, turns out Noah's is bankrupt, and they've been that way for months. I didn't get that from Noah's, though. I reached out to them, but still haven't heard back from them. It's their bankruptcy lawyer who told me a judge just gave them two weeks to shut down. But when I went to the spot in Little Rock today, they were already closed. Holding hands to see the place. Every little girl grows up dreaming about a perfect wedding. They should have walked down the aisle. We came up here not expecting anybody to be up here. Just as David Henderson and his fiance Crystal expected. They're locked out of Noah's event venue after finding out the company is suddenly closing. This morning we were upset, crying, and then after we got here we're just a little bitter. They've paid thousands of dollars for the wedding they're supposed to have here in just a few months. I have a dress fitting tomorrow and now I'm not sure if I should even go. Word of the West Little Rock spot closing spread quickly. Couples stood outside hoping for answers. Instead, Noah silently took down their Facebook page. <laughs> keep sending phone calls to voicemail. I'm just trying to see what can be done or what's going on. This is how Jalicia Long spent her lunch break. Upset the company she's trying to reach may have had more warning. Noah's declared bankruptcy last May, but kept booking weddings. That was my special day, and there's something that I won't be able to get back. At least tell me something, and no one is giving me any answers. Her and her fiance got second jobs to pay for their wedding. $5,500 is the amount that we have lost. It's a hard hit, leaving couples putting what they do have in perspective. I just know I'm going to get to marry my best friend at some point, so that's the happiest part for me. At this point, it's unclear exactly when Noah's will close all of its locations across the country. We only know that it has to be within two weeks. The Attorney General's office here is looking into what happened. So far, they've had four people report this, and they're asking anyone who lost money or reservation to Noah's to just file a complaint with them. Back to you.